And we are back with another episode of the most quotable movies of all time. And this, hey, if we can't agree on anything else, we both love this movie. It's Raiders of the Lost Ark. One of the most iconic, classic action movies ever and uh, and adventure movies. And I mean, even if a lot of the um, most iconic stuff in this film is dialogue free there's plenty of great quotes to go around as well so good pick to everyone who voted so uh you want to start us with your number five uh my number five Don't look right, keep your eyes shut! very good yeah i thought about yeah, that one for sure that's when they were tied to the pillar and he opened up the uh the ark and then uh the, the angels girl. start flying around and yeah we know I, what happens from there. As I remember when you were a kid, when you watched it, you kept your eyes shut too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I guess I would have been like uh, three or four when it came to... Uh, I, I know I didn't see it in the theater, but yeah, every time it was getting to the face-melting scene, I would like run and hide or something. <laughs> it freaked me out, man. Uh, which would make sense uh, now looking back um, knowing uh, little kids yeah that that is a traumatic scene I suppose yeah so uh, yeah so I didn't pick that but <laughs> my, my number five is um, throw me the idol I throw you the whip and then of course uh, he does not throw him the whip right and you know so uh so not that was not on your list. No, that was I, I thought about it. It's like an honorable mention. Yeah, okay. What's your four? Uh Indy says I don't know, I'm making this up as I go. Uh I almost put that too, but I, I didn't do it. Um and another one that I almost picked from that. I think it's from that same possibly scene or around there uh, when he says, truck, what truck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just the way uh, Ford says certain things are great. I know. Um, okay, so my number four is uh, about halfway through the movie after he thinks Marion is dead and he's at the bar with Belloc. And he says, You want to talk to God? Let's go see him together. I've got nothing better to do. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Uh, didn't make your list? Yeah, no. All right, man. We're gonna... <laughs> I think we may have one, possibly two in common. Okay, Indy. And Salo both say this at the same time. They're digging in the wrong place. Yep, I didn't pick that either. <laughs> <laughs> but my number three is also Sala. Uh, when he says, uh, he catches the date in midair and says... Bad dates. It was my number two. Ah, very good. Yes. Uh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the monkey laying dead on the floor. Yeah. The Nazi monkey. <laughs> A traitor monkey. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. So, oh, we're already to number one then. Uh, oh, no. Wait. My number two yes. is snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Snakes. That's my number one. Ah, nice. <laughs> okay. Well, my number one is uh, something that I reference probably the most out of this movie. It's uh, when he says, It's not the years, honey. It's the mileage. So, uh, yeah. All right. Well, great list here. So, and of course, with the snakes thing, there's also the whole uh, thing in the beginning where the he's got the snake, the python yeah, right. or whatever in the plane. 
And he's like, I hate snakes, Doc. I hate them. <laughs> uh, it's so great. Uh, so this should be pretty easy to put together. I think snakes obviously has to be number one. And then number two would be my one, the mileage. Then bad dates. Then bad dates for sure. And then uh, your number three. Oh, they're digging in the wrong place. And then it's between our fours. The You want to talk to God or... I don't know. I'm making this up as we go. I think that's actually a better one. The I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Any other honorable mentions? Uh... I think we got them the most of them. At, at, at the end, when uh, Major Eaton says... We have top men working on it right now. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, who? Top men. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then uh, Satipo was the name of the guy that said, no time to argue, throw me the idol, and I'll throw you the whip. Okay, that was the character's name, yeah. yeah. And of course, I like to, in the, the beginning scene with the bureaucrats where Harrison Ford's explaining the arc, and he says, didn't you guys go to Sunday school? <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, um, like I said in the beginning, like uh, you have to mention like some of these wordless scenes like where he shoots the, the sword guy so classic of course yeah. when the boulder comes out and uh he's got to run away from that uh, yeah. and then of course just getting the idol and he's weighing the thing that's been made fun of and so many different and, things and when belloc's always taking things away from him yeah yep classic and of course the amazing score by john williams like i don't think the movie would have been half as good without that honestly like yeah i mean he he hit the theme and like mm -hmm. all the other accompanying music yeah you know, in the right place the solo wells yeah yeah it's like one of your favorites exactly yeah yeah like when he's uh just a scene that wouldn't seem that amazing of him in the map room the the way the score like builds up and then the light shines through uh very very cool so uh all right well great list uh so now without further ado here are the top five best raiders of the lost ark quotes right now i don't know i'm making this up as i go they're digging in the wrong place bad dates it's not the years, it's the mileage. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So now we're back to the letter S, which of course has like a million possibilities. No, I've changed this list like five times, I think. Yeah, I think my list is the exact same from last time. Because uh, what, what, what was S last time? Star Wars. Was it Star Wars? Yep. Oh. So, and which I didn't even have that on my list. So, so mine is unchanged. It's Swingers, Scarface, Stripes, and The Shining, from one through four. Okay. So what do you have? Scrooge, nineteen fifty one. Okay. So you're getting close to Christmas, but right? I would get to it. I'll probably will. <laughs> <laughs> probably but at the rate we're going uh yeah. space falls ah that's a good one the shining okay to make you happy scarfish yeah awesome like yeah i guess that would have made it either way because that was my number two but uh so Sky shining and scarface definitely make it that's exciting um, and then we got our two number ones. 
Scrooge and Swingers. Man, what a varied list. That's awesome. Okay. I dig it, man. So uh, here are your choices. We got Scrooge, the uh, 1951, you said, version? So many versions. Scrooge. Not D with the end. Scrooge. Yes, yes. Alistair Sims, yes. Alistair uh, Sims, yes. Swingers, The Shining, and Scarface. I think last time you did put Scrooge with a D on your list. You changed it up now. Yeah, I did. Very good. I understand. Either <laughs> I, I like them both. So, but uh, okay, cool. Well, you know what to do. Either vote on Johnny Radio or in the comments below, and then we'll see on the next one, perhaps in time for Christmas, <laughs> maybe in 2024. We'll have to do our uh, top five movies of 2023 sometime soon, even though I am I still have some I, I need to get to, like the holdovers and a couple others, But um, which I've heard the holdovers is a really good Christmas movie as well. Really? supposedly we'll see i don't but... know i haven't seen it okay but, but well, yeah i mean now you got all the the you know the movies coming out at christmas yep. the big movies yeah so i figure probably like february you should probably do it yeah that could possibly one be one uh done in person with the two of us we'll we'll have to see could be, you never know. Uh-huh. All right. Well, uh, something to look forward to, of course, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Love you. Love you, too. All right. Bye. Bye.